Vice President Mike Pence is going to arrive in Dallas on Sunday for a religious freedom celebration. But as CBS 11's Jack Fink reports tonight, it's not without controversy. It's one of the highlights of our year. Pastor Robert Jeffress says he invited Vice President Mike Pence a year ago to this Sunday Celebrate Freedom event at the First Baptist Church Dallas. He says they're expecting between 35 and 4,500 people to attend at their various venues across their vast downtown campus. Because of COVID-19, Jeffress says they will operate at 70% occupancy, take temperature checks when people enter, and strongly encourage people to wear masks. Well, I think the virus is a very real threat. Uh, I think it's wrong to view it as a political issue. Mr. Vice President, we need your attention in this area. In advance of the vice president's visit, Dallas Congresswoman Eddie Bernice Johnson was among the Democrats who criticized the Trump administration and Governor Abbott's response to the COVID-19 pandemic. We've had confusing uh, type of uh, instructions for people to follow. And once again, the governor is slow to act. But the Texas GOP chair pointed to the governor of New York, where more than 4,800 nursing home residents died related to the virus, more than twice the number of all Texans who have. They should be running Governor Cuomo from New York out of town on rails. While the Cook political report shows Texas still leans Republican, the vice president's visit to Dallas comes as various recent polls here show a very tight race between President Trump and Democrat Joe Biden. I think that's why you saw uh, the president in Texas uh, what, a week or two ago, and you see the vice president here this weekend. We, we have seen repeated times this same narrative of a poll showing uh, impending disaster only to be proven wrong on election night. In Dallas, Jack Fink, CBS 11 News.